back to another catch and clean with your boy Strike Riker here. And we got a surprise for you guys. We got some perch. That's right, big and big ins. So let's get on to the table, show you guys what we need, and show you guys how to clean some perch. And let's get to the cutting board here. So what we got here is a cutting board. Make sure it's not gonna move on you. Other thing is make sure you guys have some newspapers laid down. Make sure you do not get the comics in here because you're gonna have something afterwards to read. After that, make sure you guys have a sharp knife. A sharp knife is a safe knife. Make sure it's really sharp. Have a bowl of water. Bowl of water for all your meat. Make sure it gets in there right away and then you don't lose it within your newspaper bunch. And lastly, make sure you guys have a plastic bag. So all your guts, all your fish, anything that's remaining, throw in here, bag it up. And if you have a couple days where you need to throw it in the freezer, let it freeze so it doesn't smell like fish, I'd recommend that. Other than that, throw it in the garbage and you're all good to go. So let's get to these fish. Okay, let's look at these fish. Here are some massive perch we got here. I mean, look at them compared to my hand. I mean, <laughs> they're big ones and they are chunky. Now if we look over here, I have a little measuring tape here. This one alone is 10 and three quarters in length. That's a big perch for around here. And it's always good to have perch because they are amazing tasters. So let's get uh, to cleaning these boys. Okay, first things first, we got our perch. Lay it on the side. Make sure you guys lift this fin right here. Lift this fin, get the knife under. Now you guys can see where the gill plate ends right here. Make sure you guys take it and angle your knife just above the head. Make your incision right there, just like that. Flip it over on the other side, do the same thing. Lift the fin. There we go, perfect. Step two, make sure you guys follow this backbone. So you guys will see this fin right here. Follow the little backbone all the way down about half an inch deep. And then once you guys get to right here, right next to the tail, punch it all the way through, just like that, and pull it all the way to through. After that, step three, make sure you take your knife and just start following those bones. Make sure you guys hear that, hear those bones as you guys are following them. Now, if you guys hear those bones, you guys will definitely be getting as much meat as you guys can, period. And perch have more meat behind their ribs, so make sure you guys aren't missing out on that compared to panfish and other fish species. And after you guys get to the belly, Make sure you guys cut through. And there you go, there's one filet. Now we're gonna switch to the other side, do the exact same thing, and we'll get back to you then. Okay, we got both of the filets off the fish. This right here, completely meatless here. We're just gonna throw this away, we're all done with them. And on to cleaning these filets. Okay. So next step, make sure we get all the ribs. I got all the ribs out here. We didn't cut through any ribs, but right here you guys see, see the silver, silver flush here? We're gonna get that off. So make sure you guys get all that silver flush off. Same thing with this one. Just that little bit off. Make sure you feel for those ribs and we're good. Next thing up, we're gonna take it off the skin. So you're gonna take this tail just like usual, take your pointer finger with your nail and dig it right into that very end of that fish. Take your knife, make your incision, move your finger up, and then slowly make your way up that fish. And there you go. There is a big old chunk of filet of perch, and there is a meatless chunk of skin. Throw it away. 
get to the other side here. Take your meat, same thing. Take your finger. There we go. And we are on for our next step here. Okay guys, final, final step here. You guys will see right down this middle of this fish right here, there is just a couple bones that are from the ribs that get caught right here. So what we're gonna do is chop off just about three quarters of an inch right off that middle, right there. Same thing on this side, right off that middle. And then we're gonna chop it right off. And now you have a 110% boneless piece of perch right there. That's right. Now it's going straight into here, right into our water. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you one more time here. So you got your piece of meat, your middle of your fish, you're going about three quarters of an inch in. Same thing with this side, three quarters of an inch in. You guys can feel those bones right there. And then you guys are gonna take, trim it up, and whoop, just a little bone there. Okay, there you go, boneless perch. Awesome, possum. Throw it in, we're gonna clean the rest. Okay guys, we got done cleaning here. Check this out. Hey, hey, meat's up here. Okay, there we go. Look at all this meat guys, just from those three perch. Look at that. Look at these fillets. Oh, ho, ho, I can't wait to get these eaten. So as always, remember, clean your workstation. Make sure you guys Clorox it. Um, and make sure you guys take your meat, put it in salt water. Put it in the fridge for two days and then put it in your baggies and freeze or enjoy it just right there. But that salt water brings out the toxins and it also brings out the blood in that meat. So make sure you guys do that. And that's all I got for you guys. So remember, like, comment, and subscribe to my video. And always, if you guys have any questions or comments, put it down there also. So I'll see you guys in the next video. and. Remember, send it and fish on.